uh, a working dog. Uh, but so they were the only ones allowed, really, greyhounds were outlawed from anyone outside of, you know, they were bred only for as gifts to princes and princesses. So the, the retrievers and the Neapolitan mastiffs, uh, they were all dogs, even poodles, that were used um, in that part of society. But uh, guardian dogs um, were allowed in all levels. Um, here's another example of two, this is a fam very famous statue that is in the British Museum, although it is an Italian statue of two greyhounds, most likely being dwarfed down and eventually being breeded, bred to what we call now the Italian greyhound. And it's, um, it's really just a beautiful sculpture. You'll see the, you know, just the gentleness of the grooming of each other, and then the rib cage is just in its marble, which is unbelievable. It's not a forgiving material. It's a subtractive method, meaning that you're not adding onto it like you would with clay. You're taking away from a marble slab, and so it's it's quite difficult to get this kind of this this smoothness. And greyhounds were appeared in stories showcasing showcasing their intelligence and bravery during this time. And this is also from the 1400s. This is an Italian painting on the right with these two ladies that they do have this small dog um, that's, that is starting to become in favor as like a lap dog. And then you're seeing here some, um, some uh, hens or maybe a quail that this dog is most likely used for retrieving or hunting uh, for food. And, and then on the left is a scene of royalty that are well-dressed, they, um, they sport, they hunt for sport, not because they necessarily need to, they hunt because they, they want to, they love the thrill of it, it's, it's an adventure, it's an excitement. Uh, at first glance, if you are an art lover, you might associate something like this, especially with the window to the left, as being a vermeer. However, it is not. It is a Gabriel Metsu, and it is an example of Dutch genre painting. Um, genre is just a word that means for everyday life. And what is happening here, and this is, I jumped forward to the 1660s, what's happening in this Dutch genre painting is these two ladies were most likely embroidering together, um, and then the excitement of a letter had come. And so the lady, probably the younger lady on the right, jumped up. And it's most likely a letter from her, her beau or her, you know, her, her male uh, interest. And she jumped up and she has the embroidery ring around her arm. It looks like a bucket, but it's not. And she has the letter hanging from her fingers. And this is a very symbolic painting. It does, what I mean is that this was not necessarily uh, really happening. This wasn't necessarily painted from life. These are all symbols. And there is a slipper that you can almost slightly see right here, which is meant to symbolize familiarity, you know, familiar smells, and, and just a warm place uh, in your heart and in your home. And the spaniel is representative of relationship fidelity and a union and loyalty within perhaps a man and wife, but more likely um, courtship. The woman is, to the left is a window, but looking straight ahead, there is a seascape that she's glancing at. And the seascape could represent that the relationship is stormy, or that she, her, her, her man is, in, uh, is off at sea, and she's concerned. So it could mean concern, or that, uh, it could be a volatile relationship. This is a famous painting by Diego Velasquez, and this is in the Prado Museum in Madrid, Spain. And it's called Las Meninas, Meninas which means Lady in Waiting. And this was painted in 1656. It's a, it's a huge painting. And um, 